Hi, Northern Sky fans. Boy, I have the pleasure today of introducing you to Maya Plor. Hi, Maya. Hi. I am speaking with Maya because she is one of two recipients of the Northern Sky Theater Werner and Sue Krause Scholarship. Uh, this is a scholarship that was started by Werner and Sue Krause a couple of years ago for Northern Sky. It's dedicated to Door County residents who are seeking opportunities in the arts and going on to higher education. And Maya applied for the uh, scholarship and was a, is one of the two recipients. It's a $2,500 scholarship, which is a really remarkable scholarship these days. So congratulations, Maya. Thank you. Such a huge thank you to Werner and Sue for their unbelievable generosity. And uh, this year for giving out two scholarships. So that's wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you, you said you, you just graduated, right, from Sebastopol? Yep. And uh, I, I'm sure you had to do some of the distance learning for, for this past semester, like everybody? Yes. What was that like? You're, you're, you, um, obviously, you studied some, some music. We're going to talk yeah. a little bit about that. Um, so with the distance learning for me wasn't that much of a change. I already had the second semester was mainly by myself. My two main classes with other people were band and choir. Oh. So was, <laughs> that was a big change. Otherwise I was um, learning by myself. So changing into the distance learning wasn't much for me. Got um, it. Got it. Yeah. Well, I did this ensemble work, though. <laughs> well, I see some instruments behind you, including a guitar and a piano. Do you play both of those? Yeah. yeah. Ah, and what else do you play? A lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I kind of brought home, like, the whole band room with me for the break. <laughs> so, seriously, what does that mean? What, what instruments do you all play? Um, well, okay, so I have the piano and acoustic guitar, ukulele, the B flat clarinet, bass clarinet, trumpet, tenor sax, alto sax, barry sax, flute, piccolo, baritone. I have a three quarters tuba here. French horn, oboe, violin, trombone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, now, you know, I'm a hack piano player at best. And I know that in order to play all of those instruments, you had to have spent a lot of time, uh, at least initially, to, to even get your, you know, yourself acquainted with all those instruments had to take a ton of time. So how much, how much practice time do you put in, would you say? And what's your, what are your main instruments? Um, I would say at least two hours of practice. I don't, I probably need to work on practicing because I don't sit down and just one instrument. I kind of jump around. Um, uh -huh. My main instruments are the flute, piccolo, piano, and violin. Those are the ones I probably work the most on. Um, so, yeah. Wow, well, woodwind and string, you, you really concentrated on both of those. Yeah, yeah. That's really impressive. So Maya, tell me, um, what, do you, what is your relationship to Northern Sky? Um, well, I've been volunteering there with my grandparents since I was pretty young, uh, with like the spring cleanup, putting all the wood chip stuff down. Um, oh. I've been to a couple of shows too, so. <laughs> oh, so you've seen, and you've seen some shows. Do, do you happen to have any favorites? Kai's on ice. That's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that one. Pretty funny. That's true. I think a lot of people find that show pretty funny. So how did you, um, how did you learn about the scholarship and what made you apply? Um, well, my grandparents always reminded me about it since they came out with it. Uh, they're always like, oh, keep this on your radar, you know. So uh, when I saw I was out, I was like, oh, I need to apply for that one. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah. So where will you be going to school with your scholarship? I, I'm going to be going to Luther College in Iowa. And what do you have uh, any any idea yet? No pressure about what you might be uh, studying or majoring in. I'm studying music education, and I oh, think I'm going to minor in music performance. As a as an instrumentalist. Yeah. Uh huh. And will you have to choose an instrument in that case? Uh yeah, I, I'm going to focus on flute. So. Focus on flute. So. Uh, at Sebastopol, what kind of opportunities did you have there to uh, do your music? Um, I've always, like, I've been in band since fifth grade. And then within band, we do pet band and marching band, which I tend to play different instruments for, and jazz band. Um, 
And then I've been in choir also since I could. Uh, we do show choir, um, solo and ensemble, and then our musicals, I've been in the pit, and then they made me do a cameo one year. <laughs> but <laughs> what show? Uh, Sound of Music. They made me go up for one of the nun pieces, but. <laughs> I see, they needed, you, they needed you for the nun's chorus, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. very funny. How many people were in your graduating class at Sebastopol? 49. 49. I went to Mount Horeb where we had about twice that many. Um, and I know that in Mount Horeb, there was a lot of opportunity because we went to a smaller school to do things of, of multiple interest. And uh, you're not just a musician, right? You participate right. in other things at Sebastopol. What kind of other things do you do? Um, I'm also in volleyball and track as well. Oh, what do you do in track? I'm a distance runner and then I did pole vault. Did you have to run far to do the pole vault? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what distance do you run? Um, I started out beginning of high school doing the mile and then I'm now 800, 400. Wow. Okay. Best time in all of them? Um, mile would be 545 and then 800 is 226. 400, I don't remember. <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's really impressive. Congratulations on that. Thank and, you. And you don't have to play any instruments while you're doing that. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Relief, right? <laughs> Great. So will you be living in the dorms when you go down to Luther? Is that where, it, I mean? Yeah, yes. It's a four-year residence college, so I have oh, to live on yes. campus all four years. So do you know anybody else who will be there? Um, have you, have you, I know, uh, all these schools are still trying to figure out what they're going to do with their fall semester. But given the possibility of being in the dorms, have you, have you uh, by chance been assigned a roommate or do you have a roommate yet? Um, I do not. I'm doing random. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, at Luther, they're, so far their plan is that September only freshmen will be on campus. So I don't know what the dorm situations will be looking uh -huh. like. But, yeah. Oh, that, that's one of the options they're talking about is freshmen only, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least then you can avoid all the hazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to congratulate you again, Maya. It's really, it's so terrific. Thanks, thanks for being a Northern Sky volunteer, for starters. Yeah. Congratulations on all of your successes as a musician already. It's amazing. <laughs> and thanks for applying for the scholarship and, and for giving us an opportunity to showcase you and to introduce you to our Northern Sky fans. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye now. Bye.